When Jesus Christ called those that were going to become some of the most influential spiritual leaders of all time, this is what he told them. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me. We cannot become genuine spiritual leaders unless we position ourselves behind Jesus Christ and decide to follow him. This decision implies a head-level transformation. We acknowledge him as our leader and decide to follow. But a head-level change doesn't make someone into a spiritual leader. Jesus continues, Follow me and I will make you. That means a deeper change, a heart level transformation. Jesus takes you and makes you into something, into someone new. He changes your heart. You receive a new heart that deeply cares. And as a result, your attitude, your priorities begin to shift. You start looking at people differently and you start noticing the brokenness, the pain of those around you. But see, a head level transformation seconded by a heart level transformation is still not a complete transformation. Follow me, says Jesus, and I will make you fishers of men. A fisher has a head and a heart, but also some hands. And yes, hands are indispensable for catching fish. You got it. <laughs> Spiritual leadership also involves a hands-level transformation. You cannot lead people spiritually unless you're willing and able to touch their lives. How? Well, investing your time and resources in them. If you're a spiritual leader, God will use your head, your heart, but also your hands. God bless.